Okay, hey guys, back with a, another video for the five or six of you guys who watch these, and I feel really dumb. I uh, didn't start with step one, which is make sure everything is clean and connecting like it is. And if you can see right in here, uh, if it'll focus, here it goes. Uh, that's where the brush is connected to the commutator, and the commutator failed my test with the multimeter. Uh, I was getting no connection. Um, but then I noticed when I moved just a little bit on one of them, it, it did get a really bad connection. So, a uh, pencil eraser is great for cleaning electrical parts. Cleaned everything up, put it back together, and it moved a little bit. And that's when I noticed on the top, there is this little sponge, which is a common thing on these old cars and old related parts for where you need to put oil for lubrication. So I oiled that up real good. Uh, all the gears in this main housing here, I re-oiled and everything and um, and put it back together and it kind of works. Now I think the brushes are really curved and I think it'll make multiple points of contact with that commentator. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to put new brushes in it, uh, but I can do that. That's easy. Um, but if I connect it to my test battery now you can see that it is spinning just fine and if I can zoom out the camera you can see it working and of course this would be flat against the windshield oriented like this but that's pretty cool for a however old motor this is for it to be working like that um, so yeah I appreciate the help on the Facebook page, and uh, it looks like we're mostly good and going. Thank you.